Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is going to show you how to back save your artwork in Illustrator so that it is usable throughout different versions of Illustrator. I'm sure that all of you have at least once seen that dialog box that says, cannot open the file because it was generated in a newer version or some data loss may occur, something like that. So let me show you a couple ways to get around this. So you can see I've got this file saved right here as hoodie CC. This sketch is created in CC and it is saved as hoodie CC. So I'm currently in Illustrator CC. I'm going to jump over to Illustrator CS6. I'm gonna to try to open that file. So we'll come up to file, open, and I've got hoodie CC right here. Let's try to open this. And we're gonna get a dialog. Was generated by a newer version of Illustrator. Would you like to import? Some data loss may occur. So I'm gonna say, okay, sure, let's see what we get. So we look at this, and at first I select this, and what starts to happen is all these clipping masks occur within the artwork. Now I'm not gonna go into detail about what clipping masks are in this tutorial. I have some other tutorials on that, but one thing I will show you that is a huge pain that you might have noticed is that it breaks all of your pattern brushes into individual objects. And this becomes a huge mess. So not only do I have pattern brushes for these zippers, which are now individual zipper teeth and completely unmanageable, but the stitching along the front was done with a pattern brush and it's now broken apart into all these individual pieces. And so not only is my artwork completely um, just broke it apart. It's really, really hard to use any of this. So let me show you some ways to get around this. I'm going to jump back over to Illustrator CC and I'm going to come up to File. I'm going to choose Save As because whenever I back save my artwork, um, which I often do either to send to some of my factories who don't have the latest version of Illustrator or maybe I'm sharing with a client who doesn't have the latest version. Um, maybe you have people on your team that have different versions. So I always save it as a different file name. Otherwise you might compromise the integrity of your original file in the newer version of Illustrator. So I'm gonna save this as hoodie CS6. And from this dialog, I do everything the same. I just change the file name and I choose save. And this is the dialog where you wanna make the change. So you can come here and you can choose to back save to whatever version, all right? So I'm just gonna choose CS6. If you needed to go back further, you could. So I go ahead and I choose okay. Now I'm gonna jump back over to Illustrator CS6 I'm gonna choose File, Open, and we will open the CS6 version. When I open this, I'm not gonna get any error. And when I select my garment, you'll notice I've got the garment selected as a normal garment. There's not all these weird clipping masks happening. And I'll zoom in, and I've still got my zipper teeth set up as an actual pattern brush. If I come over to my brushes panel, you can see I've got my zipper tooth pattern brush, my different stitching, and everything is intact, and I can use the artwork very easily. So. This is how you back save the artwork. If you've inherited files from somebody um, or from a factory or something and the files are newer in newer versions, ask them to back save and you can show them how to do it. This will save you a tremendous amount of work versus trying to fix the artwork. Again, always save it as a new file with the version in the file name and it will help keep you organized and make sure your original file stays intact within the version of Illustrator that you're in. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps with a lot of headaches that you're probably getting as you're working through with different people with different versions of Illustrator. If you like what I'm doing and want more tips on using Illustrator for fashion, as well as other information on working in the industry, I give away tons of free downloads, tutorials, videos, all sorts of great stuff that you do not see here on YouTube on my website. Hop over to SoHeidi.com, sign up for my email list if you haven't yet. I'd love to get to know you. And again, tons of free assets and tutorials and downloads for you to get faster in Illustrator for fashion. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I am So Heidi. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.